Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I'm posting to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests like the civil service exam. This video in particular is part of my series on analogy and logic. So basically, analytical and logical reasoning. Now today is a very special video because I know a lot of you requested this. And for a long time, I pondered kung ituturo ko siya ng for free because I only teach this sa live review events. But since there are a lot of you who are requesting this, and I know that this keeps popping up sa exam, I figured I should teach it to you for free. So for those of you who already have a copy of the workbook, you can turn to page 31. Page 31 ang exercise for this. We're going to talk about number and letter sequence. Ano yung series ng numbers? Or may hinahanap na pattern? Or minsan letters yung lumalabas? Ano yung gagawin doon? So again, very special video. I want to teach you my method on how to get yung pattern really quickly. Now, for those of you who are part of Team Laika Online, there should be an exercise for this. So if you're watching this from a learning experience, the activity or the exercise should be below. Make sure that you practice with that after watching the video. Alright? So for those of you naman who are out there and you're not part of Team Like Online, that's okay. That's the reason why I made this video for free so you can study along kahit na um, wala tayong resources for that. Okay? So I'm going to show you how it's done. I need to go and switch over to my PC so I can show you better. See you in a bit. Alright? Alright, let's talk about numerical reasoning. Okay? Ibig sabihin nito yung mga number series, mga letters na lumalabas, tapos hanapin nyo yung pattern, hanapin nyo kung ano yung sasagot ninyo. Okay, so this is the first question. I just want you to get a taste of uh, ng klaseng tanong yung pag-uusapan natin today. So hit pause now. Alright, let's see if itama kayo ng sagot. Okay, and I want you to focus on uh, how I get to the answer, yung process on how you get to the answer. More than the answers itself, kasi syempre hindi naman natin alam kung anong klaseng talong yung lalabas sa exam. Pero kung makukuha ninyo yung patterns, tsaka makukuha ninyo yung process, then you can get the answer when sa actual test. Alright? So in this case, ang gagawin ninyo is this. 101, 112. Anong kailangan kong gawin sa 101 para maging 112? Pwedeng plus 11. Ngayon, huwag nyo agad i-plus 11 to. Although, it makes sense kung ipa-plus 11 niya. Check nyo muna dito. Magkasunod din kasi siya, right? Plus 11 ba to? Yes. So ibig sabihin, probably, plus 11 din yan. Plus 11 din to. Now, the next thing that you're going to do is this. 112 plus 11 is 123. Ngayon, kahit na may 123 na dyan, huwag nyo muna siya shadean. Okay? Ang kailangan nyo munang gawin is to make sure na yung 133 plus 11 is 134. Or basically, tama siya sa side na to, tama rin siya sa side na to. If that works out, then that's the time that you get the answer. By the way, you really need to be careful kasi may mga multiple patterns sometimes. And ang pinakakadalas ang nangyayari is na-excite tayo, sinasagot natin kung ano yung feeling natin yun yung sagot. Tapos yun pala, hindi pa pala yun ang tamang sagot. Okay? So again, make sure na tama yung pattern on both sides before you answer. So, Probable patterns natin yung pinaka-basic, yung example kanina, single repeating pattern siya ng addition and subtraction. Okay? Bakit siya basic? Kasi mas madali tingnan. Kung lumili at subtraction, kung lumalaki, malamang addition. Isa pa itong example. So, I want you to try again. Hit pause now. Alright, let's see how you did. So, 15 para maging 30, pwede maging times 2 o kaya plus 15. Ito, this is plus 15. So, that makes this less probable. So, plus 15 na lang gamitin natin. Plus 15, plus 15. Plus 15 ng 30 is 45, right? Ngayon, next question, 45 ba? Plus 15 magiging 60. The answer is yes. So, the answer is 45. Again, don't forget na kailangan i-check nyo muna siya on both sides before nyo isagot yung nakalagay. Bakit? Kasi may mga patterns na hindi ganyan kasimple. Okay? And ayokong matrick kayo into thinking na simple yung pattern, ganun hindi pala siya simple. Okay, so pwede yung multiplication and division din. Example would be this. So I'm going to ask you to hit pause now to try to answer it for yourself. Hit pause now. Alright, let's see. Tama kayo, ha? So, 12 tas naging negative 24. What you could do would be to look at this. Okay, para maging negative 24 siya, you have to multiply it. Multiply it by negative 2. So, 12 times negative 2 is negative 24. Ang clue ninyo, para malaman kung negative pag minumultiply, is pag nagpapalit ng sign. Kasi ito, positive, negative, positive, negative. Kung nagpapalit ng sign, malamang, minumultiply mo siya sa isang, positive, sa isang negative number. Kasi, magpapalit lang ang sign kung negative yung number. Okay? Now, in this case, negative siya naging positive siya. Which actually works kasi pag nagmultiply kayo na negative 2, magiging positive siya. Kasi pareho na siya na ng sign. 48. Check pa rin tayo doon. This is also times negative 2. Magiging 96. So, what do you need to do? Times negative 2. 
So, it's going to be positive. Okay? Positive number kasi negative times negative siya. So, definitely, hindi na to pwede. Hindi na to pwedeng maging sagot kasi negative siya. So, 96 times negative 2. Last digit rule, 2 ang ending. Since siya lang 2 ang ending, your answer is D. Kasi 96 times 2 is 192. Positive. Siya dapat hindi pwedeng negative. That's how you get to the answer. Okay? So, again, ang gusto ko ma-pick up nyo dito, pag papalit ng sign, malamang minimultiply sa isang negative number. And you have to be careful with the signs. Okay? Kasi kahit tama kayo sagot, kung mali ang sign, mali pa rin yun. Okay. So, ito. Try this. Okay? Hit pause now. Okay, let's see how you did. Now, dito, 12 para maging 15, pwede siyang maging plus... 3. The problem is, hindi to plus 3 kasi ang plus 3 would be 18 at 30 siya. Kasi 15 para maging 30 is times 2. Meron kong dalawang pattern, plus 3 at saka times 2. Now, here's my suggestion. Kung nakakita kayo ng dalawang pattern na ganyan, i-verify nyo dito, this is plus 3, right? So, ibig sabihin, dalawa ang pattern. May plus 3 kasi saka may times negative 2. Ngayon, don't put it up here. Kung nakakita kayo dalawang pattern, you put it under. This would be times 2. Bakit? Para visually nakikita ninyo, taas, baba, so ang kasunod, taas, which is plus 3, dito, times 2, and then plus 3. Bakit ko ina-alternate na ganyan? Kasi ang common na mistake ng mga tao is, times 2, to, times 2 din to. So ang sagot nila would be 60. That is wrong. Kasi nga, pag hindi nyo nilagay sa ibabo at ilalim yan, akala ng utak natin minsan isang pattern lang ang hinahanap mo. So ita times 2 niya na lang lahat. And in fact, the answer should be 30 plus 3 or 33 na kung ita times 2 natin is still 66. So, ibig sabihin nun, tama siya sa side na to, tama siya sa side na to. The answer is letter D, 33. So, if you're one of the people na nagkamali dun, sinagot nyo 60 dahil na-excite kayo, be careful. Okay? Next time, alam nyo na. Kung dalawang pattern, isa sa taas, isa sa baba. Okay? Yun yung two alternating patterns natin. Okay? Lag madalas din yung lumalabas sa exam. So, I want you to try again. Okay? Hit pause now. Alright, let's see how you did. So, 11, 18, 36, 43. So, 11 para maging 18, this is plus 7. 18 para maging 36, this is times 2. Again, nilagay ko siya sa taas, ito sa baba. So, taas, baba, taas. This should be plus 7, which is tama. So, this should be times 2. So, ang times 2 ng 43 is 86. Dahil wala na rin kasunod, hindi na natin kailangan i-check. The answer is 86. I hope you got that right. Okay, yan yung two alternating patterns. Ito naman. I want you to try it first. Okay, so hit pause now. Alright, let's see how you did. Okay, ito medyo complicated kasi two, ito, pwedeng plus 2 or times 2. This one is plus 2. Pero hindi to plus 2, this is plus 4. So if you notice, may kakaibang nagaganap dito. 2, 4, 6, gradual na pagtaas, tapos biglang gain 10, tapos ang layo na nung 26, nandun na sa pinakatoktok ko yun. Ang ibig sabihin nun, pag weird ang pattern na to, itry ninyo kung Fibonacci. Ang Fibonacci sequence, this is how you spell it, F-I-B-O-N-A-C-C-I, basically means that the number on the right is determined by the number or numbers on the left. And if you notice here, merong pa rin relationship yung mga numbers, which is this. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Yung 10 is 4 plus 6. 4 plus 6 is 10. So, ang logical na kasunod would be 6 plus 10, which is 16. And kung i-check natin sa kabila, 10 plus 16 is 26. So, pasok siya doon. So, the answer is 16. Bakit? Kasi the number on the right determined by the numbers on the left. Yun yung Fibonacci se sequence. Now, hindi nyo kailangan tandaan yung spelling. Call it uh, spaghetti or fettuccine for all I care. Mas ang importante, alam ninyo yung concept na pag Fibonacci, the number on the right is determined by the numbers on the left. Here's another example so you can practice. Okay? So, hit pause now. Alright. Let's see how you did. Ngayon, dito, dahil dito sa simula ang nawawala, atras muna tayo. Saan so, ang galing yung 13? 13 is 5 plus 8. 8 is 3 plus 5. So, pasok pa rin tayo sa Fibonacci dyan. So, ang 5... 2 plus 3 is 5. 3 dito nang galing, 1 plus 2. So, yung 2, saan kaya siya nang galing? Meron ka ng 1. Ano kailangan mo idagdag sa 1 para maging 2? You have 1. And kung check natin, 0 plus 1 is 1. So, the answer here is letter B, 1. 
Okay? So, Fibonacci sequence, the answer is B. So, again, if hindi nyo nakuha, ulit-ulitin hanggang makuha ninyo. Okay? So, I want you to try it again. Hit pause now. Alright, if you found it difficult, it's actually the same thing. This is Fibonacci, kaya lang hindi siya addition. Kasi hindi lang sa addition or uh, hindi lang sa addition ang ngayari Fibonacci. Pwede rin sa, sa subtraction, pwede rin siya sa multiplication or division. In this case, this is Fibonacci pero multiplication. Kasi 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 9 is 27. So, ang hinahanap natin is 27 times 9 or 270 na lang kasi ng 10 minus another 27, this will give us 243. The answer is letter D. Okay? So, bakit? Kasi Fibonacci multiplication. Ayun. Ito yung nakakaubos ng time, yung mga letters. Okay? So, I'm going to ask you to hit pause now to try to answer it by yourself. Hit pause. Alright. I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay? Pagdating sa exam, I suggest that this is what you do. Pagdating nyo dun sa uh, exam center pa lang, pagbigay ng scratch paper, kung nahihaya na kayong magsulat, magsulat na kayo ng ganito. Okay? B, C, D, E. And then you put here on the other side, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. You see what I'm getting at here, right? P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Bakit natin isusulat ng ganyan at bakit nakahati ng by 5? Kasi it will be very easy for you to figure out kung ano yung mga, sorry, kung ano yung uh, hinahanap if ganyan ang pagkakasulat ninyo. Bakit? Kasi, okay, if I ask you, ano ang pang 8 na, na letter? You have 5 here, so ang pang 8 is H. Ano ang pang 13? That's probably going to be 10 plus 3, this is M. 18, yon 21, 20 na yan, this is 1. Visually, nakikita ninyo kung nasa yung numbers, ay yung letters. So, what you're going to do instead na lang, instead of counting your fingers, kasi nangyayari dyan, even if I teach live, makikita ko sila, nagbibilang sila ng daliri. Imbis na nagbibilang kayo ng daliri at nagtutupi kayo ng mga daliri ninyo, pag nilagay nyo dito sa kanito class in table, madali nyo yung makukuha. So, what you're, you're, you'll do will be, bilugan nyo lang yung letters. So, A, C, F, and then J. Now, visually, kita-kita nyo agad may pattern. You have 1 here, 2 here, 1, 2, 3, so, ang hinahanap, dapat 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the answer is O, letter C. See how fast that is? So, may mga times kasi na when I teach this, may mga pushback, may mga tao nagsasabi na, eh, sayang po yung oras na gagamitin ko sa pagsusulat ng letters eh. Pero actually, if you think about it, kung isusulat nyo yung letters, mas madali yung bilugan nyo yung sagot, makikita ninyo agad. Kesa doon sa nagbibilang kayo ng ganyan, kasi minsan namamali pa kayo ng bilang, or tutupi-tupi nyo pa yung daliri nyo, or nauubusan kayo ng daliri, kasi sampu lang daliri ninyo, and you have 26 letters sa alphabet. So again, advice, drawing ninyo yung chart na yan ng letters. I'm giving away all of my tricks, ha? So again, this is for free. Share this to your friends kung gusto ninyo. Para mas marami ang makakaalam. This is how you solve it. Mas visually, mas maganda. Okay? So, try it again. Okay, this is, uh, sorry, letters for numbers ang tawag dito sa pattern na to. Hi there! Alright, I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up. Again, if you have a copy of workbook number one, make sure that you answer the exercise. It's on page 31. If you ever want to get a copy of the workbook, make sure to message me sa, my, sa Facebook page ko. It's www.facebook.com slash teamlaika. Or send me an email at teamlaika at gmail.com. So, thank you guys. Make sure na you subscribe ka rin sa channel na to so you know as soon as a new video posts. And feel free to share this with your friends. This is totally for free. So, if you have any friends who are also taking the test, or mga kapag-anak, or anyone like that, share this to them. Para mas marami ang makapasay. Mas marami ang makareach ng kanilang dreams. So, thank you guys. God bless. Keep learning, keep praying, keep believing. Aja, aja. Kaya nyo yan. And I'll see you in my next video.